The year just gone, uh, we did the most heart transplants that Scotland has ever done. Um, the unit did 40 transplants. I don't think there's any doubt that the opt-out law has helped with organ donation and that's helped boost numbers around the UK. Um, and from our point of view internally, our team has seen quite a lot of strengthening and, and natural evolution over the last six years. And I think those two things have combined together to see the, the, the great increase that, that we have over the last few years. 20% of our hearts last year were, were, were using the heart in a box. It allows us to use hearts that had previously we wouldn't have been able to use, either because they were from someone who had, who had uh, their heart itself beating, or because they, the, the donor is too far away. Now both of those are, are abrogated by the, by, the, by the use of this device, so that's increased, that's increased numbers significantly. The increase in volume has been great. More importantly, it's been matched by, um, by, by good outcomes for the patients. So the, the outcomes for the patients have been fantastic. And that's, that's the most important part of it. So we want to maintain that. And we do that by maintaining a good, strong, uh, keen, hungry team. You can have the best unit in the world, um, but if there's no donor hearts, then the patients won't be transplanted. So um, while it's, it, you know, our activity is great and it's great to have work with a great team, the real heroes are the, are the donors. Um, and if it wasn't for their the bravery and gener generosity of, of, of them and their families, um, we, wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't have a programme.